So the sunlight is going away, and this might be my last chance to do a video, my own video, like Romel did last August, of the house, since uh, students will be coming out soon, and my hope and Romel's hope is that we bring faculty out soon. So this is the entry, this is a gated area. Um, one of the workers there is mowing the lawn, of course. <laughs> And this is, as you see it coming in, there's a dirt road that's now mud because it rained about three inches last night to get here. It's out of town, probably about a half mile out of town from Abumasu. It's a pretty big house. Um, this is just a, uh, like a shed or work area over there, so we don't ever go in there. But you walk in here to the front, this is like the side door, nobody walks in the front door. And you immediately enter the kitchen. And it's pretty well equipped actually. You can see the sink, microwave, refrigerator, everything works fine. Romel's going to go for a run. I'm doing my own video of the kitchen. Everything, everything. works fine with me. I think. Yeah. <laughs> Romel's <laughs> going to go take a run in the heat while I do this. And there's the stove. We actually cooked some tuna helper the first night. And, um, Notice that all the windows have big or have large panes and lots of air in because everything is about circulation around here. Um, but we've we've done pretty well here. If you bring all the food that you need, there's plenty of stuff to prepare it. Wash all the dishes to avoid ants coming around or other bugs. Back here, which um, Romel showed on the other video, is the washroom, and that that light isn't very good. The lights all around here are fluorescent to to minimize energy but when Romel showed this last August this these hadn't been hooked up yet apparently they work fine now and uh, we haven't used them yet but we'll probably use them I'll use them tonight I'll uh, wash a load of laundry before we head out and so the washrooms here are the laundry room lots of storage for things then you go immediately into the dining room and there's lots of seating in here, plenty of seating. They expect as many as 10 people to be living here at a time. So lots of space. Fans everywhere. And when you step down into the, the main area here, living room, and this is a really nice area for just kind of congregating as a group. And um, I'm looking for the light switch here. Light switch is over here. And the sun is kind of setting, so. So lots of space to just congregate and talk after a day of working in the community. Um, Romel and I have been talking a lot about stuff going on, plans we have. His room's kind of a mess, so I won't show you his bed, but here's the main bedroom that has um, the king-size bed, actually, and a bathroom of its own with a shower. There are two bathrooms. Each have a shower. There are actually two and a half. The third bathroom is uh, just a toilet and sink and iron if you needed to iron anything. And then here's the bathroom that I've been using. Whenever you flush the toilet around here, you have to turn on the water to get the, the, the tank filled up and then you flush it and then you turn the water off. The showers, there actually is a heater, but we haven't used it because it's so hot that whenever you take a shower, whether it's in the morning or it's in the evening, it's kind of like jumping into the swimming pool. You feel it feels refreshing, and you really don't need hot water around here. Notice um, on some of the sinks that you'll see a lot of sinks in Ghana that only have just one uh, faucet, and it's just cold. This would actually, I don't know if this would even do hot water if we wanted it to, uh, but chances are this is just one. In fact, you can see underneath. Yeah, it actually would do hot water if you wanted it to. But, like I say, you never really need it. And then the bedroom I've been staying in is over here. This has two, um, two beds and a bunk. And then uh, what looks like a queen-size bed to me. That's where I've been sleeping. And, once again, windows everywhere, fans going. It's not that hot right now. In fact, this has been a pretty mild day. I'd say it's been about 80 degrees. Of course, it's always humid. But 80 degrees isn't that bad, even when the humidity is pretty high. So you could sleep about eight people in here comfortably, and then you could sleep another, you know, people could even sleep on the couches out in the living room if there were extra people. 
and those cabinets that you see back there are locked, but there's really never a reason to lock anything we found around here because nobody ventures into this space um, in that gated area who doesn't have permission. It's just not something that's done around here. Um, however, we do lock the door when we go out on an outing uh, just because we've got a lot of computer equipment and stuff like that, but that's um, it's a lot like living in a small town. There's really no risk to anything being stolen, anything like that. Here's that half bath that I was telling you about. Notice here it's just one closet for cold water only. And here's the toilet. So, so that's kind of a look at the accommodations. And um, I know anybody who's going to come here is going to have a good time. And uh, very friendly people, like I've said on other videos and it's just uh, an excellent experience.